And now, a Comedy Central original presentation. The series premiere of Let's Bowl. Broadcasting from the fabulous Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Comedy Central Sports presents Let's Bowl. Today, two fierce competitors bring their bitter dispute to our lanes. Regan Hadley, he's the brunt of a workplace practical joke. He faces off against silly practical joker and co-worker Fraser McDonald. All this destructive workplace practical joking will be put to an end right now on America's number one indoor bowling show, Let's Ball! <laughs> Steve Choppers at all. And I'm Wally Hotman. And welcome to Let's Bowl, where a couple of bowlers are going to settle a dispute right here on the lanes oh, tonight. Yeah. Now, the dispute involves their sales reps for a toy company. One had a bogus order placed for uh -huh. $500,000 to right, the other. He ends up getting a bonus, has to give it back. This is getting ugly. Oh, it's totally going to freak your crap out. We will get that story, but first, let's meet the rest of the gang here oh, on Let's right. Bowl. That's he right. keeps our toes at tap on each and every show. His name is Ernie Jensen. Ernie Jensen on the mega game. And you know him, you love him, and you'd love to take him home to mom, too. Please meet the queen pins, Amanda and Lisa. Yeah. I'd take him home to mom, but she's too hopped up on the cough syrup and gold spray paint. Today's show features a very special band, Minneapolis' own Man Planet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're totally dope. They're bitching. They're something. I don't know. We are going to meet the contestants now. Our first, uh, our first competitor tonight has a bowling average of 120. He's a Lutheran. Uh, please make him feel welcome. Regan Hadrich. Come on out of the big star phone pain, Regan. Regan, welcome to Let's Bowl. Glad you could make it. Now, Regan, um, this sounds very complicated and, and kind of ugly. It really is, yeah. Uh, but I guess the bottom line is uh, my coworker pulled a bogus sales contest on me and uh, ended up costing me $1,000, embarrassed me uh, in front of all of my coworkers, and I'm here to resolve it. Wow. Well, let's get the other side of the story. His bowling average is 150. He is a Protestant. Please welcome Fraser McDonald. Fraser, come on out of the pen. So, Fraser, go into a little bit more depth about this dispute. Well, basically, I played a, a very small, innocent, harmless joke on Regan. Uh -huh. His incompetence uh, caused him to lose $1,000 out of it. Well, from what I've heard, I think you're both crazy. Well, you've got that half right. Regan is crazy. And, uh, uh, for example, to get me back, uh -huh. he was extremely petty. And uh, rather than do something creative, he would just steal my lunches every day out of the, the work refrigerator, give them away. Uh, what a son of a bitch. We are going to settle that dispute. But not only will we get that settled, they have an opportunity to win some pretty fabulous prizes. Ernie? Pretty fabulous. Why, he'll win a trip for two to the jewel of the North Coast, Duluth, Minnesota. Here's a handy tip. The bars close at 1 AM. But just across the bridge in Superior, they stay open until 2 a.m. Then, the lucky winner will go on and bowl against our league bowler. And if successful, you'll haul ass across the frozen tundra in your 1998 Arctic Cat XL 440 with single-place trailer, provided by All Power Sport, located in Victoria, Minnesota. A grand prize value of $3,830. Good luck, bowlers. Hot sled. Wicked. <laughs> and uh, yeah. boy, Duluth, a great trip. Uh, yeah. I love Chopper, Duluth. I love Duluth. Me it reminds too. me of France. France. Except, it's, except it's 40 below and there's a lot more beer. Well, don't forget, both of our bowlers can use the distraction option at any time oh, during yeah. the match tonight, right. but they can only use it once. Now, what is the distraction option? <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Whenever a contestant feels the time is appropriate, hey. now they can blow the air horn. <laughs> but remember, uh, we're hoping that or what will happen is that right. the opponent will then screw up the shot right. and uh, that will be and it. They but they can only use it once. They can only use it once. Once. Right. They can use it once. All Just right. Once. Let's get, let's get the like bowling that. underway. Fraser McDonald is bowling first tonight because the person on the most uh, with the most credit card debt bowls first. That means Fraser is mm -hmm. bowling away. All right. Let's go. see what happens. His first ball. Whoa. Down wow. it goes. Really, that really Whoa. shot down there. Indeed. Cramp. Powerful bowler. Good start, I think. That um, thing didn't even spin. That lane is greased so good. Well, you know, the, the, the condition of the lane is important. We just had it conditioned, and I think it takes a couple of... Uh, it they must have been a couple of, that all night. Well, I, I'm not sure about that, but I think that uh, yeah, you know, the, the condition did. of the lane, uh, you know, if you I, I don't really know if you want to grease something good, you got to stay up all night and grease it. Yeah. you got to put it in, you got to put in the time. See if you can pick up the spare. Oh. Oh, well. I 
And there we have an open frame. <laughs> so we have six pins down, and uh, bowling is underway. Uh, we have Regan. Now, Regan is the unfortunate guy that was the brunt of the joke to begin with. He was the one who thought he had a half a million dollar order. He left the, the Brooklyn and then some. It's called an agitated hamster. I, I <laughs> and then it was all a big joke. I mean, I tell you, if that happened to me, I'd come in and shoot up my work. <laughs> We have uh, lots gonna, of bowling going on here. Regan's going to try to pick up, in there pick up the spare, see what happens. Oh. And uh, once again, <laughs> holy cow. Now uh, we have uh, Fraser up again for a, um, frame number two. Nice shot. Doing the same almost thing, in the really. Pocket. He was almost in the pocket. Almost in the pocket, but it did leave the, the head pin, uh, the two and the six, I think, yes. All right, well, uh, let's see if he can pick up the spare. My feet are killing me. My feet are full of toxins, I think. Smooth movement. Down the oh, lane it goes. Oh, he missed it. Leaving an open frame once again he's, now. He's got the same problem I do. My, my Rolfer said my feet were just full of toxins. It's killing me. Oh, oh. Wally, what is that that we see? <laughs> it's the poker pit. Yeah. <laughs> One of our bowlers has a chance to win a great prize if he gets a strike in this frame. What's the prize, Ernie? They'll win a quarter cow from Anoka Meat and Sausage, located in Anoka, Minnesota, worth $300. Holy cow! Here is Regan. Let's see. Uh, it's in the pocket. <laughs> he knocks them all down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means Regan goes home with a quarter cow. I can't believe he got it. That's right. That's a heck of a I barbecue thought we had for that Regan. thing rigged, not for anybody to get it. And after two frames to settle this dispute, we have Fraser with 13, but Regan has a strike and five. Close match, Chopper. It's really, really heated out here on the lanes. And now it's our turn to go a little bit deeper into this disgusting dispute in grievance in the gutter. I'm right there, you're right there. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right there. Regan, tell me a little bit about uh, what happened between you and Fraser. Uh, Fraser pulled a, a real bad joke on me. So I sent a uh, fake customer in to, <laughs> to Regan to uh, pretend that they were genuinely interested in placing a, a huge order. Regan talked the customer up to ordering a, a half a million dollars worth of a certain toy. And uh, really embarrassed and humiliated me in front of my coworkers. He was bragging to everyone uh, in the industry that he's the ultimate salesperson. In addition, he cost me a thousand dollars because of a bogus sales contest that he had set up. Uh -huh. To get me back, uh, Regan was very petty about it. Uh, rather than being creative, uh, he started to steal my lunches. I didn't take any more than 40 lunches. Who makes the coffee here? Do you all make coffee or does someone else have to do it? Regan Hadrids, who'll win this match? Uh, me, with 95% probability. Regan, you're going down. And after two frames, Fraser has 13 pins. However, Regan has five with a strike pending. And we're one step closer to settling this dispute. We'll have much That's more right. bowling when we come back yes. right after this. See more of this dark corporate underbelly that these two fiends are mixed up in. This August, Comedy Central introduces... We're back at the Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And of course, tonight's dispute is between Regan Harditz and Fraser McDonald is all about a practical joke gone awry, and that really is the understatement of the evening. Yeah, Chopper, these two are like natural enemies, just like the uh, mongoose and the cobra. Remember, if one of our contestants is trailing by more than 20 points in the ninth frame, yeah. that makes them eligible for the super strike. Right. Now, the super strike is just this. A ball rolled in this frame rewards the competitor with double the point value, and that will definitely get them back in the game. That's well, complicated. I don't think we need to run that by the people watching this show. <laughs> well, let's take a look and see what's happened up till now. After three frames, Fraser has 22 and Regan 29. Fraser had a strike in the fourth and now 50 in the fifth. After that, Wally ate a few cheese balls. We're in frame number six, and here is his first uh, ball on frame number six. Uh, Knocks oh, them oh, all did down. Did you see that? It was beautiful. It That's was a absolute. No, Wally, that would be a strike. No, oh, that was. Let's a take a look at the uh, replay. It. Here it is. Take a look at how the ten pin barely I, came down. Okay, there I, it goes. Now the ten. Oh, look at the reaction. Ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> he got them all down. That puts Fraser right back in. The I game. want to put no a hidden about. camera in one of these guys' offices <laughs> when after this. <laughs> Here is Regan in the sixth frame. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> These 
you see that? It works. <laughs> <laughs> what a jackass. He threw it right in that gutter. <laughs> let, me, let me see the air horn. Let oh, me see. Look at the, take <laughs> a look at this. Let him have it, Frazier. <laughs> Absolute classic use of the distraction option. We'll see if he can pick up a spare on this one. Cool. Oh, That's what we like to see. Picks I'm up a spare. The spare flag now. All right, activate the spare flag's up. Take a look at the replay as he up. picks up the spare. So don't very, very nice. Don't. Did you see the replay? That no. was wonderful. No, I'm too busy with this. All this crap. Here's the upside: is that Regan has a spare going into this, and yeah, we know what Regan the score is, but, but I'm trying to tell him about the spare flag. And right now, let's take a look at Inside Bowling. Tonight on Inside Bowling, we're going to look at what to do with old bowling balls. Unlike car batteries, which can be thrown away in any garbage can, bowling balls have to be disposed of properly. So let's sit back and watch Inside Bowling. Do your part for the environment. Throw your old bowling ball in a ditch. Go, 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 go. get rid of it. Okay, go, go. Wildlife can nest in the finger holes. What? You didn't see a cop anyway. There's God no. Leave it in a porta potty. How's it going, buddy? How you doing? Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse us. Get in there. All right. Get in there. All right. Ow. 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 Oh, Wally, Wally stop it. All right. Come on. Sorry. Okay. All right. Ow. Ow. Oh, jeez. You didn't see anything, buddy. Okay. It breaks his foot and gets infected. Paint it like a soccer ball and play a funny trick on your neighbor. Come on, stop it. Ellie, get out here and clean up your crap. Stupid little. Oh, 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 no, 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 go to hell. No, shut up. Donate it to a local thrift store. If there's one thing I know, Thrift stores need bowling balls. Hi, how you doing? Uh, okay. I'd like to uh, donate this bowling ball so that it can be uh, used again by someone who needs it. Okay. I'm sorry, we don't take those anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Um, uh, huh, look at this. Put one on your neighbor's sewer vent. Hey, can, can I help you out here? No, I got it. It'll back up the sewer gases and blow out the house. Drop a bunch off at one of the many failed dot-com companies, because look who's laughing now. Go! Push them out! Push them out! Push them out! Okay! Okay, go, Wally! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Mail it to your ex-wife and let her deal with it. Apparently, she's some kind of superwoman who can deal with anything and doesn't come from a shame-based alcoholic family and doesn't have any sexual dysfunction. <laughs> Give it to your brother-in-law who smokes too much weed. Hey, Troy, there's no bowling ball for you. All right. Talked to your mom yesterday. Yeah. She wants you to call her. Right. Well, that's great. All right. <laughs> See you, Dwayne. Uh, nice place, Dwayne. See you later. Let's chuck it into our lake. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. We got more in the van. Let's go get some more. Actually, you're going to get in the water and you're going to retrieve that ball you just threw in there and you're going to get it now. Are you crazy? I'm not going in there. Get in the water and get the ball. That's full of leeches and I don't care crap. about the leeches. You're going to get in that water and you're going to retrieve that like ball. Like hell I am. No. Okay. Get in and get it. That's it, Peg. Ah, you. Molly. What are you not? You gotta love that inside bowling, huh? Yep, hopefully it'll help somebody out. And we'll continue with this dispute. It gets deeper every step of the way when we come back right after this on deeper Let's Ball. Meaner. So glad you made it to orbit fine. But now Welcome back to Let's Bowl. While we were away, the competition continued. Fraser down nine pins in the seventh frame, bringing his score to 78, while Regan improved his score to 82, giving him a four-pin lead going into the eighth frame. Here is Fraser with uh, frame number eight. Looks good, oh, looks strong. A There's a strike right there in right. frame number eight for oh, flash my light. Fraser. Oh, I forgot to activate my strike flag in the yes, last shot. Yes, you sure did, leaving the this four and seven. This a strike has been awarded. I should have activated it sooner. Don't That's let right. that confuse anyone because 
Uh, I'm activating it now, but there it is. I don't want any more letters and cards that I'm doing it wrong again. The four and seven you remain. You know I'm talking about, Billy Thompson. Just get off my back. Take a look at the replay. This is a great looking strike. One more time. It's classic in the pocket. Around it goes. The ten wraps around. Boom, they're all gone. It's simple as that. Take Spare. a look at his passion and his desire. I haven't seen passion like that since my neighbors left their blinds up. <clears throat> it wasn't beautiful, but it was amazing. For Regan, looks good. Knocks them all down. You know, my neighbors have left their blinds up. I mean. You know what? I think the lanes are warmed up and uh, things are looking good. Take a look at the replay on this look one. Again, a classic ball in there. Knocks them all down. Let's get the bowlers back on the lanes and uh, start frame number nine. I hope this is over soon. I'm exhausted. This place is a death trap. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Leaving the number nine pin on the back side. What is he, the Lutheran? Uh, no, he, he the... would be the Protestant, yes. Yeah. He's the Protestant. He's a Leo. Where's your God now, toy man? Let's see if he can pick up a spare. The number nine. Not a, not a, not a hard thing to, ma you know, to, to, to make on this one. Of course, it's all about power. <laughs> that was a very important spare, Wally. <laughs> It's Very right. important spare, but it's also great use well, of the distraction little... option. Take a look at the replay on this one. <laughs> let's see the... <laughs> Here we see, go. Take hard. a look at the replay. Yeah, oh, my it, God. <laughs> I think that little geek have it. I think he may have hurt himself when he fell there. It's, That's uh, funny. I love it to see when people fall. That cracks me up. I'll tell you what, Wally, this whole, uh, you know, the distraction option is a pretty powerful tool in, uh, in the world of bowling. Oh, oh, well, I'll tell you what. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. I mean, he, he, it was perfect use of the distraction option into a, just a poor roll on Very this Very poor roll. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> I'd like to get some corn dogs. Here we go. Try to pick up the uh, the spare on this one. Can he do it? Ah, leaves the number nine. Leaves an open frame on frame number nine, uh, and the match continues to be very very close. Very Regan close. has 110 pins to Fraser's 106, close. and anything can happen in the tenth. And when we come back, we're going to settle this dispute, and the winner is going to go up against the league bowler for a great grand prize. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. So glad Welcome back, everybody. This Welcome is one back. of the tightest matches that we've had in the history of Let's Bowl. A lot of we, drama out I here mean, on the th today. This is an amazing thing. Regan, 110 pins. Fraser, 106 pins. Going into frame number 10, it's anybody's game at this point. Right. It doesn't happen that often. This yeah. is something that makes bowling so exciting. And whoever loses has got to write that check and issue a public apology. And we're going to find out one. who it is. Coming up, here is They've got Fraser. Leaves the left side, we call it the Brooklyn. Horny, horny lunch lady, I think that was called. Well, both of these guys used the distraction option very effectively, and it worked to their credit. I mean, worked, you know, in favor of both of them. So this is a very, very important spare right here, Wally. I knew a horny lunch lady once. Man, was she horny. Oh! All right, so uh, we have, wow. I'll tell you what, yeah. all Regan has to do is knocked down five pins. Don't tell him. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's, he doesn't see. He doesn't know what this card. It all comes down to this one ball, Wally. Take a look. Oh. Leaves. He's, he's got, got it. it. It's, it's over. over. It's all over. The match That's is it. over, and <laughs> Regan has won what a, what a game. the game tonight. He's going to go ahead and try to pick up the spare oh, just to rub just it in to, his face, huh? I believe that's what's going to happen. Yes, indeed. I don't he think. Well, he oh. got one. He got the 10 pin, leaves the nine, and uh, that is the match, gang. All right, tonight's big winner is Regan oh, Hadritz yeah. with 119 pins to Fraser McDonald's 114. And I think there's uh, some things that have to happen, guys. we got to see a little apology here. Let's All go. right, let's just have at it. Regan, I. Uh, Sincerely apologize to you. I crossed the line. My office pranks were really out of character and out of line, and uh, any embarrassment that was caused to you, I sincerely apologize for. Uh, here's the check for $1,000 that you've rightfully earned. Thanks. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But hey, 
You know what, Fraser? Nobody goes away a loser on Let's Bowl. You take away the Let's Bowl prize package, including right. a brand new ball, a snazzy bowling right. shirt, and a pair of Lynn's bowling shoes, all oh, yeah. from Let's Bowl. Okay. Okay. Hit it. Let's go. Now. Now the big event. It is, Regan. Uh, your chance now to go up against our league bowler. It's one ball, and you either beat or match our league bowler. Ooh. Our league bowler comes from Mady's Lounge. His name is Brett Mady. Come on up. So, so Bart, how do you feel? Uh, name's Brett. Oh, well, whatever. How do you feel tonight? I feel great. What's your average? 205. Ooh, 205. Well, let's go see you kick some butt. All right, let's go. Remember, it's meet or uh, match or beat. Match or beat. The snowmobile's on the line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not uh -oh. a great one. Whoa. Not a great one at all for wow. Mr. Mady. So what are we looking at here? Uh, he's going to have to knock down, what, six pins to make this happen? Oh, boy. Can't believe it. What's he got? Oh. Oh, he, he does it. indeed. He got uh, it. Regan is the big he winner. <laughs> Congratulations, Regan. You oh, are the proud owner of the 1998 Arctic Catch Snowmobile. Come on, everybody. Come on. And Regan is our big winner tonight. He picks up a trip to Duluth, the 1998 Arctic Catch Snowmobile, and the Apology in a Thousand Bucks. Hey, everybody, don't forget to support your local bowling center and tune in next week for another episode of Let's Bowl. <laughs>